when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Yo, yo, guys and dolls, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. It's a warm and inviting place. It's like a cool pool on a hot holiday. If you are used to coming back, you must be fed up with that intro, um, but we're going to keep doing it. So today, it's more for you beginners or you guys who haven't really restrung your guitar before. So we're going to look at the most common bridges and how to can sort them out. So we'll look at the Ibanez Geo, which is a string through vibrato bar, and that's we're going to show you how to clean your guitar and that type of good stuff with that one. The next one is going to be a fixed bridge top loader, so it's kind of like your Les Pauly kind of old school style ones. And they've got a floating bridge, which is going to be the Ibanez Premium, um, and that's a kind of double locking trem, floating trem system, which is notoriously a bit of a, a, a bit of a bind. But let's get through it while I drink this tasty brew from this awesome the Dario cup. Right guys, this is the string through kind of um, vibrato bridge. First thing what you want to do is get your strings, slacken them off a bit and then give them a nice cut. Do that for all of them. So once you've got that cut, you're just going to push it through back of the guitar, get rid of that, do that for all. Right dude, so if you end up with like a sticky string so you can't push it through, get your thickest string cut off and pop it through the hole of that string and you'll end up getting both of them out then. Push that, that one that way, that one that way, job's a good one. So guys, now we're going to clean stuff, a little bit of, um, a little bit of spray, give a little spritz. And then wipe it down, get it nice and clean while well, there's no um, no strings on and stuff. Oh, just don't do that. Right, dude. So after that, you definitely want to be treating your neck as well. So what I'm using here is this awesome lemon oil gear. Splash that on, and then just kind of rub it in with your fingers, making sure that you're covering all the rosewood. Rub that right in and then leave that to sit for about five minutes, just let it soak in for a bit. Right, so we're gonna chuck on some of these amazing Dario NYXLs, and these are gonna go on all guitars, no matter what the trim system, but we're just gonna show you on this awesome Geo. Right, so now I'm gonna feed the new string through the um, hole at the bottom of the trim, through, and pull it through. So um, just to get, make sure that you've got enough string when you start winding. I normally like to put my free NYXL sticker on the 12th fret. And that gives me enough of a hoop. Start dialing it in then. What you want to do is you want to turn it until it kind of starts looking back at itself. Once it starts looking back at itself like that, bring your hand through here, press down, Pull the string back up and then start tightening and then keep going until you've tightened that in full. Right dude, so new guitar, new bridge. Um, you do exactly the same as we just done with the last one, so you give it all a bit clean, the proper look after it and stuff, give it some love. Then what we're going to do is we're going to load this like a cartridge, so you're just sticking your strings in and then pulling them in and then once they're all in we're just going to snap that back into the body so it saves a um, good old bunch of time so check that out, get that done Right guys, so we have the floating trim system now floating trims come in different shapes and sizes but this one is a zero point system on the Ibanez but the springs can sometimes fall out when you haven't got enough spring tension so what I like to do is take my brand spanking new Dario XL case or whatever you call it, fold it up a little bit, bend your trim down and just pop that underneath and that will hold your trim in, in, in place then and it will also keep the spring tension on and now we'll restring like we did with the other ones. So because this is a double lock and trim system, we've also got a lock on the neck as well, so we're just going to loosen them off before we do anything. In fact, we can take these all the way off 
while we restring and just get them out the way for a little bit. Make sure you put them back in the order you've took them off though. So the best way to do that is take them off and then place them in the order they came off in. The reason for that is the thicker strings clamp obviously on a thicker lever so if you put a thin string over a thick string you get a bigger um, gouge in the bottom of these things. Right, I'm going to loosen those strings off and then I'm going to show you how to put them all back on. So the second bit of your double lock and trem system is going to be on your trem. So we need to loosen the um, trem blocks off. And these are the bits that clamp the other end of your string. So I'm basically just giving them maybe two turns just to get my strings out really. Remember guys, don't be scared of doing this yourself because it's not that hard a gig. And then I'm just going to take them out. Start the restringing process. So the beauty of having a double lock and trim system is that you do have to cut your strings anyway. So what you can do is you can just feed them back this way so the ball is at this side and then only cut them once. And a lot of people kind of kick off saying that it, it affects the tone. I've never noticed it affects the tone. If you guys want to discuss it in the comment section below that would be brilliant but I normally root it this way. Plus the Dario have really dead good cut balls and I like that. So that's what we're going to do, we're just going to root these backwards, so you take string one. Back through, and then we're just going to cut. strings right so you've got your strings on and everything now what you want to do is just give them a bit of a pull like get them under tension and then just give them a bit of a yank and what that does is it'll just bed them in a little bit and then tune up and jobs are good get in put the your nuts back on you'll be good to go happy restringing <laughs>